This is a Blackstone vanishing bird cage. I mean, people today don't know Harry Blackstone like they used to, but he was literally in a league with Harry Houdini. This is really, really cool. Hi. What is that? <laughs> this is a Blackstone vanishing bird cage. Um, by Harry Blackstone? Yes. Um, this is really, really cool. I mean, people today don't know Harry Blackstone like they used to, but he was literally in a league with Harry Houdini. Mm-hmm. And where did you get it? I, I was married to Harry Blackstone Jr., and I was the one who was shot in a cannon, cut in half of the buzzsaw, turned into the tiger, you know, that's what I did. <laughs> The Blackstone Vanishing Bird Cage was made famous by Harry Blackstone Sr. and then my late husband, Harry Blackstone Jr. It's a famous piece. So I'm gonna ask $3,000 for it. Harry Blackstone Jr., he was like the very first big production magician on the strip, right? Yes, it was also on Broadway because we had like the longest running show on Broadway and things like that. And the bird cage was featured in every show. His father, Harry Blackstone Sr., started performing it in about 1913. So this piece is somewhere close to 100 years old. So that, that is really neat. So how is this like a trick? Well, he would come out holding it and invite anywhere from a half a dozen to 50 kids up on stage who would all put their hands on it. And while everyone was holding it, it would vanish. Okay, so can you make it work? No. <laughs> it's really cool that you had father and son magicians that were just as famous as each other. So if we have one of their original tricks from someone who was part of their stage show, that's cool. I am um, just trying to look and see how it works. <laughs> I mean, it's put together weird, I can tell you that. So there's something there's something going on here. You can tell by the wire and everything, it's really old. So w one thing is, did that have feathers on it at one time? No, it never had feathers. Okay. And it was made by his uh, great uncle, Harry Blackson Sr.'s brother, Pete. Okay. I mean, it's really, really cool. And I'm sort of fascinated. I really want this one for the shop. And I want to know how it works. <laughs> You're looking to sell it? Yes. And the whole thing is, how much do you want for it? Well, I'm going to say $3,000. OK. And I don't know if it's worth $500 or $10,000. <laughs> Um, I do have a friend who is really big into collecting magic stuff. Oh, who, who is it? It's Murray the Magician. He's a good friend of mine. And, I, uh, I have known Murray since his hair was normal. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, I'm going to go give him a call. I'm going to see if he can come on down. Um, I, I know he'll fall in love with this. Um, but he'll help me figure out what it's worth, okay? Fair enough. Hey, hang out a few minutes, and Absolutely. I'll be right back. Murray is a great choice because so many of the younger magicians in this day and age don't know the history of magic, but Murray does. So I think he's a great one to give a very honest appraisal. A lady brought in a magic trick that was used by both of the legendary Blackstone magicians. I have no idea what it's worth, so I called up my buddy Murray. He's a magician, he's gotta know. <laughs> Good seeing you, you well? I'm fine, and yourself? Uh, no complaints. And I see something that looks absolutely amazing in front of you. Now this, believe it or not, is one of the holy grails of magic. And this is from Harry Blackstone Sr. Mm -hmm. And Junior used it as well, yes. I'm sure. And as you know, in magic, the Blackstone is a huge magic name, not only by one man, by two, Sr. and Junior. They used to open their shows with this small trick. I mean, nowadays, we open tricks with massive things. We produce cars and trains and all that to open a big show. This is what they would open a massive theater with. He'd walk out, stand on stage, hold this in his hands, and literally, in one second flat, the whole cage would actually vanish from his hands. And to this day, in the world of magic, it's probably one of the greatest magic tricks. 
The Blackstones are really influential in magic because they were the last of the tuxedo tails bow tie magicians. They were a huge magic family. Not only one magician, but two. So Rick, on this item, what are your concerns with? Okay, so how does it work? <laughs> Rick, it's magic. He would hold it in his hands and it would disappear. And the great thing is if you do end up getting this, you will actually learn the secret. Um, <laughs> that's the bonus. Um, but no, but the greatest thing with this is even when it was filmed on TV, they would break it down frame to frame and you could not catch the vanish. It happened in one frame. That's how great this vanish of the trick was. Okay. You want to show me how it works? <laughs> Rick, it's so fragile. This is over 100 years old. So what's it worth? This cage, you know, like I said, it's, it's one of the classic magic props. And, and you're getting it right from the estate. So the price for this one, in this economy, in this day and age, is between $3,500 and $4,500. Okay. Sir, thank you so much. Thanks, good sir. luck with this and good luck with your magic career. I'm looking forward to seeing you on the strip. <laughs> so I'll give you 2,500 bucks. How about 2750? It's uh, it's a specialized thing. It takes a long time to sell it. We take 2600 bucks for it. I'll take, yes, 2600 Okay, it's a deal. Okay, thanks. Great. This is this is really cool. If I just can't make sure some of my employees don't screw up something <laughs> fragile. This is such a cool historical item. I'm glad we got it for the shop. You never know, maybe I'll join Murray's Magic Show. Our hair does exactly match, though. <laughs>